everybody. Welcome. My name is Miss Morgan, and thank you for joining us for our SLP Summer Library Program, Tales and Tales. Today we're going to be talking about bird beaks. Did you know that there are almost 10,000 species of birds in the world? And every one of them looks different. Do you ever wonder why? So in this experiment, we're going to look at their beaks and figure out why those work. So we gave you in your kit some Play-Doh, some cereal, some beans, some tweezers, and a pipette. And from home, you'll need some water, a spoon that has holes in it, and some milk. All right, let's get started. So what we'll do first is grab your Play-Doh. We're going to put some of those beans in your Play-Doh. This is meant to simulate bugs that live in wood, like termites. Now grab your cereal. Now pour some milk over your cereal. This is meant to be like fish that live in water. The last thing you need is a glass of water. I've dyed mine blue so you can see it. That water represents a sweet substance called nectar in flowers. Now you have three different utensils to be bird beaks and three different types of bird food. Play around with your bird beaks. Which beak is best for which food? Try everything. Did you have fun experimenting? Well, let's talk about those beaks. The first one I want to talk about are the tweezers. These are meant to be those bird beaks that eat insects like cardinals and blue jays and woodpeckers. So they have to have a beak that's small enough to be able to fit into the wood and pull out an, a termite or a worm. Another beak is this long, thin pipette. Hummingbirds drink nectar from flowers. So they have to have a long, thin, hollow beak, like a straw, so they can get inside the flower all the way over there and suck up all that nectar. And the last one is more like a pelican. Pelicans scoop fish out of the water and then they tilt their head and drain all the water out like those holes do. So only the fish is left in their mouth. See, these are only three different types of bird beaks and there are lots of birds in the world. Why don't you guys do some research and look at other birds and their beaks and try to figure out what they eat. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you for participating in the Licking County Library Summer Library Program. Continue to read and listen to books and go wild with us this summer while adventuring with your family.